Okay, so where we left off was we were recording our bass part, and I finished the bass part, and I want to show you guys something. I'm going to make, this is where I'm going to use uh, Option key. I'm going to hold Option down, and I'm going to say make all the track height small. And now I'm going to go to this bass part and make it bigger so you can see it. And you'll notice here, I'm going to zoom in with what? Command bracket. That's right, the right bracket. And you'll see the bass part has these gaps between the notes. And it kind of sounds a little wonky. Um, let's listen. So it's like I really should have held the note all the way up until the next note. So that's called legato. When you play from note to note, make it all smooth and flowy, it's legato. So I can just tell Pro Tools, you know what, let me see, this is exactly, each note is two beats, right? So why don't I just change what's called the duration? So I could go here manually, I could go to grid mode, I could grab the trimmer tool, and I could go to each MIDI note and drag it to the downbeat of each thing, I'd be like, Ugh, and I want to kill myself by um, about halfway through the song. But there's a command. I'm going to triple click on the track to highlight everything. Triple cl clicking on a track highlights the entire track. And then I'm going to go to under event, and I'm going to go to event operations. And I'm going to go to change duration. And now I'm going to set all of these. I can go legato, but I don't want to overlap it. I'm going to set all of these to two beats and I'm going to hit apply. Bam. And did you see, let me undo that, and let me scroll over here so you can see, let me command Z to undo, and you see there's my gaps, I'm going to hit apply. There we go. Now when we listen, ground control to major tongue. Cracks me up. Um, it's better. It's smoother. It sounds better. Another thing that I did was I went to the expand and I added a little bit more reverb to the bass to kind of smooth it out as well. All right. So now we're going to do this oboe part, which comes right in on ground controlled. <laughs> so we're going to go to the, the um, mix screen. I'm going to close this right now. We're going to come back to it later. And we should have our oboe sound, right? And that comes in on ground control, and it's just the ground control to major tom. It's just, it's exactly what the vocal is, and then it goes up to a D, I think. So, we're going to triple click to zoom out, and I know I'm going to be punching in here. I'm on the oboe track, which is right here. That's the track I have in record. I'm going to zoom in a little bit with command bracket. And I'm just going to play C, ground control to major tom, um, up until I'm going to do that. Just follow what I do. Here we go. I'm going to turn pre-roll on, command K. Here we go. Ground control to major tom. Ground control to major tom. Okay, screw up. Uh, I'm going to go here to notes, and I'm going to say where my notes go. I'm going to scroll down right here until I see my notes. I'm going to say that's not what I meant. Um, I'm going to get rid of that note. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, and I'm going to say, give me that hand tool, the grabber. I'm going to say, yes, not what I meant. So uh, I think it's the a C again. Uh, I guess we'll find out. I'm going to go back to the selector tool. I got my pre-roll on. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Ground control to major tone. Commencing countdown engines on. Check ignition and may God's love be with you. This is You'll notice that I uh, turned the click off because I was wanting to hear what the sound sounds like. That's why it sounds better because we don't have that sterile click through the whole thing. Um, so I'm going to highlight this. What am I going to do? I'm going to quantize. Option zero. And I may as well do it to quarter notes. 
great apply and then there it is um, so now there's that ding ding part we could do that and then there's a string part in the chorus and then we're going to mix this puppy and just so you know the whole purpose of this is not to teach you guys how to regurgitate David Bowie songs or or redo cover songs it's to take a song that you know, you know the parts, so you don't have to worry so much about the parts. The chords are easy, the structure is kind of fun to play, but it's to develop the skills to take all of this into your own music. Because when you're working on your own music and you're working on the arrangement, you have so many ideas, it's really great when you have the skills and it's second nature where you think, oh, i got to quantize that. Oh, i got to um, make that an octave up. Oh, I've got to option drag that plug in. Um, so this exercise is not to create major tom. It's to give you the skills to create your own music, just to make that really clear. Um, so let's, let's do the string part in the... Um, in the this is ground control to major tom okay so i got tired of moving my screen around so i printed out a chart so um and i can't see it at all um so it is and if you've seen the video about doing the cheat sheet of the chords then you'll know it's just c this is ground control to major f um stay on f you you stay on f stay on f and then you're going to an f minor so you're just going to move one finger uh, then you're going back to a C, then to an F. You're going to go to an F minor, then a C to an F. And um, it's pretty darn simple. So, And it kind of sounds really nice. And I just want to get you guys really using MIDI. Again, eventually you're going to hopefully invest in better plugins than Expand. And there's some, ah, oh, the coolest plugins um, that do strings and keyboards and drums and I think I said earlier, I'm, I'm a plug-in whore, I, instruments. I mean, I love uh, delays and all that kind of stuff, too. Um, a really great collection, one of my favorite ones, is this company called Sound Toys. I think it's soundtoys.com, and they have this bundle. And they have these really simple, really great, great plugins, Echo Boy, Phase Mistress. Um, they're really, really fun, creative effect plugins. And then there's some just some really great instrument plugins, and we'll get there, and I'm, I'm getting off tangent. So we want a string part. We're going to go back to the mix screen. We're going to go back to expand. We're going to go here and we're going to say, hey, expand. We want to use MIDI channel three. All right. And we want to use a string part. So here we go. And I'm trying to find strings there. Uh, I can't see. I can't see the mallets. There we go. Strings. OK. So we don't we probably want something legato um big soft strings. There we go. Good enough. Now we need another MIDI track and we want to set it to play channel three. Sorry, here on expand. I'm gonna close expand for now. I'm gonna go down here right next to this one because when I hit when I click a um track, just by the way, also you can move tracks just by dragging them. Um if I click I'm going to move the keys back over here. Oops, screwed that up. There we go. You see that yellow line? It shows you where you're moving it. When I hit Command-Shift-N and I go to a MIDI track, it's going to put it right next to whatever's highlighted. So that's why I do that. I highlight the track to the left, and then I hit Command-Shift-N. It creates a new track to the right. And this is going to be strings. We're going to set the output of this track, this MIDI track, to play Expand Channel 3. We're going to put this track in record, and now we've got the oboe still. No, there we go. See, the computer's being a little wonky. Okay, so I'm going to go an octave up on this little keyboard. And we need some effect, right? So let's go back over here to expand, and let's say, hey, string part, let's go for some reverb. Sure, better. Um, anyway, I'm going to turn up a little bit more, and we're going to punch in at, I'm going to close this, get it out of the way, I'm going to save, always command S, command equal back to this screen, and we're coming in right at the top of the chorus. And I'm going to look at my chart, and I'm playing from a C to an F to an F to an F minor. Okay, here we go. I'm going to follow the chart, and I'm just going to play just little triads. Here we go. Uh, F minor is, um... 
Okay, F minor. So C. Ground control to major tone. Where is it? Oh, it's in E. This is ground control to major tone. You really made the grade and the papers. So it's just an F minor. Here we go. Oh, I do need my click. I'm going to unmute the click track so I can hear it because I need that space. I do have pre-roll on one bar. This is ground control to major tone. On no, whose shirt you wear, I'm going to make this bigger, and I'm also going to go to notes. I don't know why, I just prefer to go in notes. And this, uh, you really made the grade. I'm going to punch in right there. I don't want to be in grid mode because I want to click right before the chord hits. Because if I'm in grid mode and I punch in, it's I have to be exactly right on the beat to make sure I get those notes. And there's the beanie. Hi, beanie. Okay, so I'm on. You really made the grade. Okay, grade is F, and then I'm. Papers want to know. Here we go. All right. You really made the grade. I see, I didn't hear it. Um, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Play it again. You really made the grade. you wear now it's time to leave the capsule if you dare this is major tom to ground control i'm stepping through the door and i'm floating Go up to there. I had a couple little flubs. I'm going to kill that here in mine because that's the wrong chord. And this is again where I probably would go here and make this legato. Normally I would be having a real keyboard with a sustain pedal and I would use a sustain pedal. So in light of the fact that I'm playing a keyboard the size of Schroeder in Peanuts, um, I'm going to go through in here. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to first triple click the whole track and I'm going to option zero and I'm going to quantize it and you'll see it move bam okay so now everything is moved to the beat because I was not playing very well uh, and I'm going to highlight this chord in, in uh, uh, actually you know what I want to be in grid mode and I'm going to grab the trimmer tool and this is where you know probably the super tool would probably be the best thing to use right here so um, I'm highlighting that, and then I'm, and then then it turns into the trimmer tool. I'm gonna drag that there. I'm gonna grab these a little box around them. So this is where the super tool is like one big thing instead of switching a bunch of tools. And you just move your mouse until it becomes the tool you want. And there we go. I'm gonna yank it there, and I'm gonna grab this guy and let's put that there. And I'm just gonna go through this whole thing and fix these all so it sounds legato. I can grab this and I can pull that. Uh, again, me with a sustain pedal would have been a much better choice. I'm not getting the trimmer tool right there. I don't know why, so I'm just gonna grab it. And I'm gonna go back to the super tool. Um, these, I'm gonna be anal retentive and yank those there. And it goes here. And these look okay. Those could be better. Um, so you kind of get the gist of what I'm doing. I'm just pulling the notes all the way to the end. I'm doing it in grid mode. So it stops when it gets to the beat. Um, where did it go? Ah! All right. So there, I think I made a little mistake right there. That little note I didn't mean to play. I think that is that little... Okay, I guess not one there. I'm going to highlight these guys. 
pull it there. And these look pretty good. I'm just going to drag both of these and say, okay, let's fix this. Again, trimmer tool to the right. And we're almost done. There we go. And that's it. And I'm going to make sure this goes to the downbeat of Tin Can Part. Now I'm going to save. All right, so now we've got a string part. And um, I guess let's just uh, listen to it and see how it sounds. Here we go. Let's turn the click off. Bam. I'm just going to go up there and mute the track. And I know because my click is all the way on the left side that it's all the way up at the top. So I don't have to go searching for my click track. Another reason to have a system. All right, let's listen. This is ground control to major tone. All right, I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Right here. Now it's time to leave the capsule if you dare. This is Major Tom to ground control. I'm stepping through the door. And okay. I'm floating in the most peculiar way. Okay, good enough. All right. So the last thing we have left to do is we're going to do that keyboard part and we're going to put a delay on it. So let's see if we can do that. Let's move on to that and then we're going to put this puppy to bed and we're going to move on to something else. Thank God, huh? Okay. <laughs> 